not that long. Well, I guess it was a while ago now, but um, one for Lust Cinema with Casey Calvert and one for because then Mile High was like, wait, she did something for Casey? Okay, we want her to do this. So I was like, fine. So I did another Girl Girl for uh, a Sweetheart movie. And then that was it. And now Quasar, God love this little director of ours. He is now, um, he thinks it's funny. And so he keeps asking me to do all these non-sex roles. For, <laughs> and the one was I got shot in the face with all kinds of fake sperm to make it look like I accidentally got shot in the face after the sex scene with the girl. And it's me just going, ah! <laughs> comes hitting me in the okay, face. Okay, wait, wait. So Bre- these are the things that are happening to me now. Break down to us how that happened, like the behind the scenes, like because obviously it's not a guy actually spraying you in the face with cum. So like, no, because how did the movie you magic too many times. There's not going to be, and, and I and we all love Derek Pierce, but there's no way he's going to shoot like <laughs> over some girl's head and just hit me like repeatedly in the face multiple takes. Like that's not going to happen. Um. But yeah, it was me like catching them together and then me army crawling under the bed and then me popping up going, what are you doing? And right on the cum shot, he goes, oh, and it just, <laughs> right? And just hits me in the face. <laughs> and I'm just screaming, oh my God, oh my God. I'm trying to wipe it off my neck. And yeah, so now this is this is the new joy is to uh, make Julia the Easter egg in movies, right? Like, so now I'm coming in for these non-sex roles just for fun, just so that way. I think Mike just wants to have you on set. He just this wants you around. This is probably true, because he likes to have extra audience. Yeah, of course. Now, but how did, like, what was the substance that they used to shoot you in the face with, and what I th- tool did they use? I'm curious about this. Uh, he used a syringe. Like a big, it was Sean like, Alf. syringe, right? Okay. He made it do it. Okay. Uh, Sean Alf, you had a syringe. <laughs> Poor Sean. He was just like this. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't hear it. And uh, I want to say it was the fake cum. Like I don't, the, it wasn't like pina colada mix or anything. Okay. If that got hit, if that hit me in the eye, we, I'd be angry. So it was probably Cetaphil or? It was not Cetaphil. Was it um, Spunk cause Lube? It was, I want to say it was something like that because okay. even Cetaphil, that, yeah, that, that could have got me. Yeah. And he, I didn't get got. So um, I think it was probably one of this, this fake spunk things. But even if that got in your eye, that would still be painful. I mean, at least Cetaphil's face know. wash. Yeah, then you can just go like this s- and then go to the sink and just splash water in your face it's afterwards. It's funny that you say that because sometimes <laughs> I always laugh at that when I was doing scenes and somebody would come all over me and then the cameraman would jump in and they would be like, wait. And then they would take Cetaphil and they would put more in your face so yep. it looked fresher so they could take those last things. And yep. I was like, thank you, because now it's got soap so I don't go wash my face. I mean, This to, is like a one-stop shop here. To be honest, because usually guys' sperm is not that, like, thick and yeah. viscous, and there's not that much of it, you yeah. know what I mean? I it mean, can like, be very clear, and too. It's ha- yeah, exactly. Some are very It can be hard clear. to capture on camera, so you so, need yeah. to add that So they would add that some stuff. Cinefell just to make it look fresh again, and then, yeah, I, I just go, oh, okay, sure, why not? Exactly. I feel um, like it's just, like, yeah. helping you. No, you know? but if I remember correctly, I think it was, like, spunk. It was, like, okay. one of those things. And then it just... There's no behind the scenes of of this? You would have to... Well, you know what? He had a gif going. He made a gif out of it because he is a jerk. (laughs) And he thought it was the best thing ever. And he probably... its I'm sure it's on his Twitter. All right, I'll have to And, uh, yeah, he just thought that was the most genius thing he'd ever shot. Yeah. That sounds like fun. But a jerk. So no plans to shoot with any, like, big companies anytime no. soon just because I know, like, people are going to ask me that. No, no. It, it's really irritating when people are like, oh, have you retired? I'm like, I, I'm shooting all the time and I'm posting up stuff all the time. So I don't know how that even equates to saying retired. I, I understand that I may not be working for the company you particularly like, mm-hmm. but that doesn't ever Yeah fall into a definition of the word retire like what are you doing i feel like it's more along the lines of are you not shooting anymore where i could see your stuff for free on a tube site right i think that's that's what it translates to yeah i'm sorry that's sad for you sad for you so luckily there's so much free stuff you really just don't even have to worry about it 
Yep, but if they want anything mm-hmm. new, mm-hmm. they got to go to you. have to go to either JulianLive.com or the OnlyFans or the Loyal Fans. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.